A.J. Gordon's opinions on questions of moral and social reform always rang true like a bell without flaw. The relief of the unemployed, unrestrained freedom of speech, the emancipation of women, the protection of Chinese immigrants, for all these things he spoke as only a man of positive Christian convictions could. Scores of times did he confront legislative committees in the green room of the state capitol or in the chambers of the city council to plead for some just law or to protest against some evil measure. His championship of women's cause was constant and considerate that women might have opportunities not merely to correct the laws which men make, but to pass others which they, men, have not made and seem not to care to make. Dr. Gordon advocated their complete enfranchisement in their entrance into every political and social privilege enjoyed by man. Isn't that amazing? This was evident in his own marriage to Mariah Hale, his equal partner in family, ministry, and education. As outspoken and intelligent as he, Mariah was proficient in French, German, and Latin, maintaining her intellectual interest throughout her life and remarking once, how do people live without books? Every good book introduces you to a new world of thought, which is the only abiding world. Dr. Gordon himself acknowledged regularly the strengths she brought to the marriage and their, to their ministry. The two often shared the platform at conferences or evangelistic meetings, not unlike the Kahlbergs, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Dr. Gordon once said, my wife's clear, strong convictions, coupled with her self-denying work for others, have done much to confirm my own convictions. And so, when the Boston Missionary Training School, later called Gordon College, opened in 1889, it was both A.J. and Mariah Gordon who provided the opportunity for young men and women to be trained in the good work of the gospel. 